we've been examining proportionality relationships, and in the last activity, you've been finding out what the nature of that relationship was based on the data. In this activity, we're going to be going from a proportionality statement to an equation, and we're going to be doing that by finding the proportionality constant k. So, take for example, force and charge are related. So if I'm changing my charge, the force between these two particles is going to be changing. And I can express that as a proportionality relationship, but experimentally, I can also find out what the proportionality constant is. And we start out playing pretty much the, exactly the same game that we played last time. We've got a relationship, we're just going to copy it over into an Excel notebook. Now we're basically playing the same game. We're going to try and determine what kind of relationship we have. And in this case, I happen to know that this is an inverse square relationship. So I'm just going to move these over. And I am going to, and I'm going to put in my inverse square relationship into this cell and copy it down. Now I must have graphed this out to find that out, but we are just going to go straight for the proportionality constant, which once I understand my relationship is just the slope of the straight line. And Excel has this nice feature, so you're welcome to go to the slope right there, but it has this nice command called slope. And so you put in your Y values, and then you put in your X values, and it will do the regression for you. And so in this case, the proportionality constant, the slope of my straight line, is 8,000. Now the units are another question, and we're going to be looking at units in the next activity.